Hey guys, it's Peyton, and today I'm gonna be telling you what I hope to read in August. So today's TBR, or to be read, if you don't know what that means. It's very over ambitious, but I don't care because I like challenges, so let's get into this. So the first thing I really need to finish reading, because it's halfway read, that I didn't do in Booktubeathon, is Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. Halfway through it, just so ready to be done with this, because everybody knows. No. Sorry, I thought someone was at my house. My window's open. I thought it was someone I do not want to see. <laughs> Back to this. I was spoiled the other day for this. Someone commented and spoiled the ending of Lord of Shadows for me, even though I've been so good at avoiding the spoilers for this book and I'm very upset. Why? Why? If you are watching this video and you were the commenter that ruined this book for me, why did you do this to me? I specifically said in the video I had not finished the book. Just so very upset. I'm getting a phone call. Hello? Hi. Hi. I'm in the middle of filming a video. Say hi to the video. Hello. That's my mom. Continuing. The next book that I want to read is The Land of Stories, A Grim Warning by Chris Colfer. This is the third book in the Land of Stories series that starts with The Land of Stories, The Wishing Spell, and The Land of Stories, The Enchantress Returns. This is the second book. Recently read this book, loved this book a while ago, and I just want to continue. If you don't know what The Land of Stories is, you should totally read it. It's about these two twins that are thrown into the fairy tale world. Not only is it the fairy tale world, but it's the fairy tale world world after all of the stories, you know, fairy tales, happened. So what happened to everybody after all this crap happened? What happened to the villains? You want to know? Read this. And the two twins, Alex and Connor, basically investigate this world. It's so fun. Like, it's so adventurous. I have so much fun with these books. And I can't wait to read this one because I just love it. I love it. I love it. The next book that I hope to read is one I recently bought. The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. I heard so so much about this book recently. Everybody's raving about it, so it got me excited. And look at this spine. It's so cute. And like underneath the freaking book, it's also cute. It's all I can ask for in life, you know? So this is supposed to be a, a historical fiction about this guy. I forgot his name. I think he goes by Monty. He's in love with his friend, Percy. <laughs> Percy Jackson. So him and Percy go on an adventure together. I guess he's trying to fight back his feelings for his best friend. Maybe his best friend doesn't feel the same. He should. Monty sounds cool. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds really fun. I don't really know anything about this, if you can't tell. Sounds really exciting to me. Everybody's enjoying it. Apparently, it's really funny. I don't know if it's funny, but I think I've heard that it's funny, so I'm excited to read this. The next book that I hope to read is one I've already started a little bit. The Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson. I don't know why. I just randomly picked it up. I'm on page, like, 20. And so far, it's, it's pretty interesting. I like where it's going. It has a really cool main character, from what I can tell so far. I don't even know how to explain this book. So I'm not. I am so good at this. I really don't know what this is about. So you can look it up if you want to find out. Next book I hope to read is The House of Hades by Rick Riordan. Yes, I haven't read this. This was my next like most shame thing after Harry Potter. Finally finished Harry Potter now. So next we are tackling the rest of the Rick Riordan books. And I feel a lot more motivated to do it now because I think I'm going to a book signing for him in a few months. And I would like to have read everything by him. Just just to feel worthy of meeting the guy. <laughs> I'm so excited to read this too. And I've got asked before, like, how did you survive the Mark of Athena, which is the book before this one? How'd you survive the cliffhanger and not immediately pick up this book when I owned it? I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I really don't know, but I hope this happens this month. The final book on this list is one I really don't want to read. And I'm guessing you can tell that it's a summer reading book because school. I'm going into my junior year of high school and I have to read books for school. It's very boring. Into the Wild by John Krogyahar. I can't say his name. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is about a guy who goes into the wild and I guess records what he finds out in the wild. <laughs> I know so many people probably love this book, but this is not my kind of thing. At least it's really small, but the freaking font is tiny. <laughs> I really don't want to read this. It's gonna be so boring. Let's hope this book surprises me. I don't even want to talk about it anymore because it stresses me out that I have to read this. It's so boring. Everything sucks. So this is all that I hope to read this month. Very over ambitious, but you know, I do that every time. <laughs> if you have read any of these books, comment down below. Tell me about it. Do you like it? Do you hate it? What do you feel? 
Is this book as bad as I feel it's gonna be? So that's the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, like this video, comment down below, have a good day, and goodbye.